All right, now Samsung has started rolling out an important brand new update for the Galaxy S22 series and this update will be rolled out to all the other recent gen Samsung phones very soon. Samsung has gotten into this game optimization services scandal where the service alters or tunes the system performance during gaming to extend the battery life. And not just that, this service also throttled the performance on about 10,000 plus applications. Now this broke the trust of a lot of Samsung users after which Samsung did realize the importance of this issue and now they have rolled out an all new update which gives us a choice to have a better gaming experience. As you can see the change log here we have got some important points mentioned. The size of this update is about 469.49 MB which is of course on the March 22 security patch. Even before this update we already got the March security patch with 1 GB of size just a few days ago. Now let's look at the change log. It says by performing this software update, your device will not limit CPU GPU performance during early stages of gameplay. Then it says maintain a performance management feature based on device temperature. Provides alternate game performance management mode in game booster. Allow third party apps to bypass gaming optimization service. The stability of camera has been improved. Overall stability of your device has been improved. The security of your device has been improved. Now the first two we will not be able to verify on the device. If you game a lot after this update you may be able to see the difference between the gameplay before the update and after the update. Or perhaps I will try to do a benchmark test or performance test in the next video. So stay tuned for that and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Now if you notice the third point it says alternate game performance management mode in game booster has been added. Now let me show you where it is. Let's open game launcher application. I will tap on more. Here we have got an option game booster. Let's tap on this. As you can see as we scroll down we have got an all new option here called labs. This wasn't there before the update. You can check your game booster settings on your phone. This labs option will not be there if you haven't got the update. Now let's tap on labs. As you can see we have alternate game performance management toggle here. It says use an experimental game performance management system that may improve some game performance tends to cause heating. So keep in mind this may cause heating if you enable this toggle. Samsung is experimenting this performance management system that may improve some gaming performance may not be all games. Anyways this has been added now on game booster settings and with this all new update by default there won't be any limit for CPU GPU performance during early stages of the gameplay. Now as far as the camera performance is concerned I was not able to figure out any new changes or new features being added there. It only talks about stability of the camera. If you are able to figure out anything there do let me know in the comment section below. Apart from that we have overall stability and reliability as well as the security of the device has been improved with this update. That is all I wanted to share with you guys. Do let me know your thoughts about this GOS issue. And if you have received the update and if you have already updated the device, do let me know if you are able to see any difference in gaming performance or gameplay on your phone. Do let me know in the comment section. That's about it. I hope you have already subscribed to the channel. Give this video a like if you find this useful. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.